Hello everyone, welcome back. This video is going to be about adding labels to our inputs inside of forms so that screen readers can access them well. Remember in this class, we, as you should in life, we are going to do things the right way. We are not going to hack stuff together. We are going to make sure all of our forms are accessible. So right now, we currently have two inputs and a button. We have a username and a password and with the placeholder filled in. But what happens if this placeholder doesn't work? Uh, it's pretty universal in browsers nowadays, but there are some super older ones that placeholder doesn't work. But also, screen readers have a lot of trouble accessing this value, um, and it causes problems. So what we need to do is we need to add labels. To add labels is a two-step process. First, you have to give each input an ID. Um, we haven't really talked about IDs, but we'll get to IDs later when we get to CSS and what they do, what they mean. But basically, just think about it as a unique identifier. So ID equals, and this can be anything we want. There's not any special um, words or keywords or anything like that. I'm just going to use username. And the same thing down here with password. ID equals password. And again, just to reiterate, this can be anything we want. This can be whatever. This can be Cthulhu. Whatever. But it's good practice to make them easy to understand. So ID is username, ID is password. And then so that's step one is giving an ID to our inputs. Step two is to add the actual label tag. So label four, and then you put in whatever you named the ID for username. I need to have quotation marks. And then you put in whatever you want here. This could be login name, it could be username, it could be whatever. So when I refresh, I save and I refresh over here, I now get that label printed to the screen. So I might do like that, or I might do username, and it's printed to the screen. And then down here next to it, we might do another label. This one for password, and it's going to be password. So now we have username and password. That's kind of ugly to me. I'm going to put in a line break. I wouldn't do this if we were using CSS. I would use CSS to style it. Um, but we're not at two CSS yet, so I'm going to make it look a little bit nicer just using line breaks, the break tag. I can do that. I'm just going to duplicate that again. Make it a little bit prettier. So now we have username and password, and we've added labels for them. That's the important part. Screen readers need this label tags to function properly. So keep that in mind. You're going to have, for every input, you're going to have a label. If there's an input, there needs to be a label. The only one that doesn't need a label is if you use the input submit instead of a button down there. So if I were to do input type equals submit, I don't need a label for that one. But uh, all the rest of them, you've got to have a label for. So what we did is we simply added labels to our form to make them accessible to screen readers. There were two parts to that. We had to add an ID to the input, then we had to add a label with the attribute for, and then whatever we use it for has to match the ID for the input we want it to label. And then inside the label tags, we just put whatever we want. This does not have to match the ID or the placeholder or anything like that. It could be whatever we want. So if we wanted it to say something else, we could. And that's pretty much it when it comes to labels. I hope you have a great day.